All right, we are on air. Uh, welcome to Play It Painted Live. Uh, tonight is, looks like it's just going to be us. Um, I don't know if any of the regulars can be on tonight, but uh, saw that uh, we had some viewers on, so we might as well get started early. We'll see if anybody hops on a little bit later. <coughs> so, yeah, titled this Under the Weather because uh, tonight... Uh, guess what? Under the weather. Um, got a little bit of a cold rocking right now. Kind of a pain, but uh, I'm just catching up on a little bit of painting. So uh, this may end up being a, a very short show, but uh, you know, I figure why not? I'm going to try to do a little bit of painting and we'll see how it goes. Uh, so tonight, uh, tonight's episode is brought to you by Willy Miniatures and Blood Bowl. So uh, this is um, a Croxigo, Croxigore from... Uh, Willie Miniatures. You normally have a Croxagore on a Lizard Man or a Slan team. Um, and uh, I'm working with my color scheme here. Kind of a yellowish beige underbelly and a black gray um, uh, scale pattern. So I'm working on uh, highlighting that up. So uh, obviously the undercoat is uh, Vallejo model color black gray. Um, you may recall from some of my other painting that uh, I typically use this for my steel undercoat. And it's all in the highlighting. So so highlighting this guy is kind of the critical, critical part. So I'm mixing in a little bit of white. And uh, hopefully you guys are able to break your shit out and paint as well. Because that's kind of the point of this show, right? We all get together and kind of just throw the paints out. Then uh, we can get a lot of projects done together, and uh, that's what I'm hoping for. So, uh, also I should warn: I'm having some issues with my Google Chrome browser. So uh, we may have. Uh, some issues loading comments. But anyway, if you're out there, um, go ahead and let us know what you're painting, uh, if you're painting, and uh, what you're working on. So, okay. So I mixed up a little bit of a lighter gray, and I'm going to start my highlights. And here's the thing that's kind of uh, tedious with these, because uh, there's a lot of scales, and uh, you, you don't want to just... I guess you could just dry brush this whole miniature. Um, I'm going to do what's called like an overbrush, which is uh, where you're, it's not exactly a dry brush. You, you kind of leave on a lot more paint than you normally would for a dry brush, and you target it for certain areas. So it's not an exact, uh, it's not as exact as uh, basic highlighting, but uh, it can actually get you some highlights down in a well targeted area and you can I, I use that when I have a large area to highlight like all these scales so there's so much gray black here to highlight that it makes sense to me to apply an overbrush I don't want to um, stay here and highlight every single scale um, and besides, that's not really going to give me a great, it's not going to give me the best uh, effect if I did that anyway. So I'm just going with an overbrush. And you, you want to build these layers uh, uh, kind of gradually. Like I said, I normally employ this for things like uh, NMM Steel. Not necessarily NMM silver, because that's you start with a lighter, lighter, brighter palette. But uh, NMM steel, this is where I would be. <clears throat> and you want to be sure that you are hitting the best, you know, the top highlights of the model. For your first highlight, which is this... Uh, this is almost like a medium gray or basalt gray. Um, it is going to cover a fair bit of the model. 
but I'm going to make sure to have plenty of that uh, black gray showing underneath it. And you kind of want that because uh, I, I want this model to appear to have black scales. <laughs> so when you're painting black, um, I don't actually, if I paint black onto a model, the only time I'm using black is, uh, you know, to dot the eyes or uh, to to paint the the lip of the base. Uh, I don't actually use straight black anywhere um, on my models. And you'll see this guy will look, pre he'll still look very, um, very black even after I do, you know, a few of these highlights. So yeah, um, Willy Miniatures. Uh, I've been a fan of Willy Miniatures for a while. I saw them on YouTube. Uh, I think it was uh, uh, AG Productions that first, where I first saw some Willy Miniatures, and he was showing off some of the orc stuff for Blood Bowl. Um, and I was very impressed with Willy Miniatures, and I always wanted to pick up a set. Uh, back when I picked up my my Slan team, uh, I ended up going with Gaspez because Willie doesn't make a, they didn't at the time, they didn't make a frog team, and uh, just really became a fan of the Gaspez sculpts. So, uh, so yeah. Um, but anyway, I never really had a chance to paint some Willie miniatures, and uh, as it turns out, with this Blood Bowl season about to start, uh, Rory picked up some uh, Willie miniatures. And uh, I had to hand them down through the uh, what we call the henchman railroad, where we kind of exchange things from, uh, say, Orange County, San Diego, up to L.A. and Inland Empire. And so I was part of that chain, and I said, hey, why not? Uh, would it be okay if I if I took a crack at painting um, some of your Blood Bowl team? And he's like, yeah, I'm not going to say no to some free painting. So I was like, okay, so here we are. Um, painted up pretty much the whole other team, the whole rest of the team, and I can show that off at some point. But uh, yeah, I hit a reload here. Where we kind of... There we go, no comments. All right. So our two viewers at the moment, pretty quiet. Um, let's gonna see if we could get Mark on the show. Mark, don't leave me alone. It's one of our uh, regulars to talk to us. Um, we just got him onto G Plus, so maybe he's still figuring out how to get on the show. As you guys, regular viewers of my show, know that. Uh, we're not the best with figuring out how all this G plus stuff works, but uh, you know, we we managed to, to get people on. And I guess that's all that counts, right? Okay. So here's me kind of bringing in you can see on the the uh, this is a harbor and Lemire here for Hell Dorado. He was kind of the spare from last week, as you recall. So he kind of sits around, and he he's catching up now on his latest uh, colors because I finally am doing some of the, the grays that are in you know his recipe to finish him. So we'll see some grays coming in here. So there's that. Next up, we're going to add another highlight. So I'm going to add more white to my mix. Thin it down. <clears throat> now, with a model this size, I suppose I could have airbrushed the, the uh, base coat. But, um, uh, you know, when I've got... The, the model is almost bicolor because you've got this orange yellowish orange underneath, you've got bone, you've got, and then you've got, obviously, you've got the black-gray working. Um, it, 
it doesn't it's not that practical to base coat if there were really a dominant color between the yellow and the black gray uh, hopefully the yellow would be the color that you airbrush over white because it's gonna you don't want to start with your dark color and then have to layer up uh, lots and lots of undercoats just to get to that yellowish uh, coat so here we go got my next tone of gray in there and we're gonna continue on with some more overbrushing so I'm gonna overbrush um, but I'm gonna go more and more delicate until I get to probably one more color I'm probably gonna do one more color and that color is gonna be very very white in appearance so so here we go you can see I'm I'm now on big pieces like the scales on his back I actually am target highlighting so just so that we've got enough to work with there and I want to give him like a uh, I guess it's a a black dragon style of uh, paint job kinda like the AD&D black dragons Oh man, you have to see the floor up close. What happens is uh, sometimes this camera just wants to slide out of its little fixture here because I've got it sitting underneath. Er. Got it sitting underneath, and then you got to balance it just so. So that was fun. You got a little trip on the floor there. You get to see the. the below desk workings. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I should load comments here and see what you guys are painting. If you guys are painting. I hope somebody's painting. Or you know, if you guys aren't painting during the live show, then at the very least, hopefully you guys are uh, maybe queuing this up later and playing this while you're painting at home. I know because uh, when I paint and I have YouTube on, I'm looking for things that generally last like an hour, two hours. Um, and it's a really cool thing to do because it helps you know when it's time to quit. Um, and it helps you kind of pace your painting as well. So let me hit reload here, see if anybody is chatting, talking. No comments as yet. Maybe we have comments, but I don't know. I don't see it. All right, so that's whoa. You hit a non-responsive. No. There we go. Okay. I'm going to load up uh, comments here and see if uh, we're getting anything on comments. There's a comment tracker. Okay. No, nothing. All right. So let's just keep painting. So, yeah. Uh, the goal isn't to make this look gray, actually. It's to keep it looking black but provide a little bit of pop to it not uh, you know you don't want this to look like a gray lizard it should look like a black lizard So I'm greatly looking forward to our next Blood Bowl season. 
Um, I know a lot of the other guys are as well. So for this season, as you guys might have seen on last week's live show, uh, we did a coin toss, and uh, it just turns out that uh, I've got I'm going to be taking uh, one of my high elf teams um, this season instead of the uh, the frogs. Uh, and you know, I was very split on the decision, but uh, in the end, I think it's going to work out because I I. Uh, Kind of glad that the frogs are going to get a little bit of a break here. Okay, so there we go. Looking pretty good so far. So now I'm going to highlight Harbor Rim. But uh, yeah, um, so I'm going with High Elves. Um, this isn't really a new team for me because um, I've been playing High Elves for a very long time. On Blood Bowl, and and for a long time they were my favorite team. They were my favorite team until the uh, until the frogs, the Slan came out. And the reason why High Elves were my favorite team is because um, I like I, I don't know I just kind of like their shining armor. I like having uh, a high agility team that uh, could take a hit. You know, unlike Wood Elves or Pro Elves. Um, but the downside to the high elves is that uh, they are a uh, they don't have very many skills out the gate. Um, they're expensive like dark elves are, so they're prone to bloat. Um, but the main difference between say high elves and dark elves is that uh, high elves can develop a more reliable passing game than dark elves can. Their uh, their high elf throwers come with uh, safe throw. Um, I think they come with pass and safe throw, um, which is an interesting... Safe throw is a very cool skill, especially for an edge 4 to have. And the fact that you come with it standard is quite nice. So, um, you know, really looking forward to playing some High Elves again. Um, I'll probably have to find my way with regards to um, how to play them again, because it's been many, many seasons since I've played them. Um, but, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I think our league is uh, much more skilled than it was in previous years. We have, uh, just to give you an example, last season, my brother's team went undefeated in the regular season. Uh, in fact, my team went undefeated in the regular season. Uh, and uh, we only had ended up with ties. Now, my team went undefeated in the regular season, but it had lots of ties. <laughs> So uh, that's not as impressive as what my brother did. But it, the interesting part about that was we, we went into the playoffs, number one and number two, and neither one of us made it to the finals. In fact, uh, yeah, the finals was Jake versus Kevin, um, the number three seed versus the number four seed. And um, that just goes to show you that uh, in a small group league, um, it's not so much the playoff spot that, it matters as much as um, how well is your team, how intact is your team by the time you get there. So, uh, yeah. Speaking of which, I want to knock out a few more extra highlights here on the face. I, with this kind of detail, which people love to dry brush, this scaly... I call it kind of scratchy detail. I do not fare very well. I like to have smooth or crisp detail. So I don't do quite as well on these as uh, a lot of other folks do. So Willy miniatures are great, but they're not quite my style. They're a little more classic, um, like classic GW uh, metal. Which is kind of cool because there was there's a lot of cool stuff about classic GW metal. So now I'm going in with this last highlight, and you can see how white it looks going down. Um, this is a very sharp highlight, so I'm gonna be very very deliberate about where these highlights go, as opposed to all the previous layers. 
Then we're going to do a little trick once all this is down. But for right now, it's very important to catch the very tips of the scales, spines, all that. With this color. Oh, somebody's messaging me. Let's find out who that is. <laughs> All right. Well, any comments? Let us reload. Nope, still no comments. Okay, that's cool. We're just going to go ahead and continue on with these very sharp highlights. So these very sharp highlights I'm not putting everywhere, but you will have enough of them in the right places. See, I'm coming in real tight here. Because I want to do something... And I hope it works. If it doesn't work, I'll be kind of bummed. <laughs> but it should work. Yeah, I really want this, uh, this model to pop because this really is the centerpiece of Rory's um, Lizard Man. Blood Bowl team. And it's just fun to paint this kind of stuff. I've been painting a lot of uh, models that aren't mine lately, either for commission or for the uh, charity auctions. By the way, I am planning on putting up more stuff for auction, so um, I will keep you guys posted on this channel regarding, regarding what else I have for auction. I want to thank everybody who participated in that last charity auction. Uh, even if you didn't win the prize, you know, just your support and uh, supporting our little cause here, the which is not a little cause. It's the Typhoon uh, Relief Efforts. I think that's a very noble cause. So just wanted to thank you guys for your participation there. It meant a lot to me, and, and uh, so I was glad to be able to do it. So now I'm, I'm uh, individually edge highlighting his whole back. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's when I'm done with this, it's gonna look like a really cool effect. But this isn't what I would characterize as "quote unquote" fun painting. Um, painting individual scales to me isn't fun painting. Um, I, I like things like um, delicate features on the skin. I like uh, I like areas where I can do uh, non-metallic metals, uh, where I can really um, create my own effects using clever highlighting or, or clever clever layering. Um, that's more fun to me. Not And I'm not complaining about this. I mean, this is a great miniature, and I am enjoying painting it, but I'm just saying um, as far as, like, pleasure painting, that's really fun to me. You know, being able to... to uh, pick out and actualize uh, something cool from your highlighting that might not be visible or being able to get away with a crazy color scheme that, you know, if you told somebody what you're going to do to a model, it sounds terrible and then, you know, the ability to pull it off um, I think is super cool. Here we go, some more edge highlights going down. There we go. Yeah, I kind of like the dude. He's kind of cool. Let's 
So if you're just joining us, feel free to hop in on the comment section and uh, let us know what you're painting or what you're building. You could be building. You could be working on terrain. Um, a lot of things you could be working on. Pretty cool, though. I know you can't really make him out on my crappy camera, but uh, if you guys are part of SoCal Tabletop, I will post what this looks like at the end of it. And I'm going to catch my little edge highlight here with Mr. Arborim. Arborim? I don't know. Yeah, so just that lightest this color is almost a white. You just use that to catch the, the very edges of the model. But you can do like little scratchy marks to give it a more of a... You can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you can do little scratchy marks to make it... to give it that uh, NMM feel. But see, as you can see here, it's really just the edge. And then you might do a little bit more. Not necessarily, though. See? Yeah. Yeah, you can't make it out. <laughs> All right. So, for those of you just joining, thank you for joining. Welcome to Play It Painted Live. I am a little bit under the weather, uh, so we may be looking at a little bit of a shorter show. But I'm going to paint until I run out of energy, and that's kind of been the the theme. Um, came home yesterday and uh, was not, just didn't feel up to speed, so I rested for a bit, and then I tried to get up, and then it yeah, I felt even worse, so. So stayed home from work today, uh, which was a little fortuitous because I was able to um, ship out uh, some of that Anima stuff and uh, get put that in the mail for the guys that won the auctions. All right. Trying to load some comments here. They'll load here in a sec. There, there appears to be something wrong with my Google. Uh, I think it's my Google and my Norton are not getting along right now. Ever since I went to Windows 8.1, uh, yeah, ever since I went to Windows 8.1, it just did not, has not uh, behaved well. Cool. All right. So, so that's done. Uh, it's time to now work on the uniform of this guy. And then I'm going to show you my neat little trick here with uh, making this guy go back to a little bit more black because he looks gray right now. So for the uniforms, let me show you an example of uh, the team that he's on. So here's the team, the team colors. So here's uh, one of the sources. Um, so it's kind of that. It's a pretty... Pretty intense blue, uh, yellow underbellies, and um, bone for uh, that part of the helmet. In fact, screwed up, didn't I? No, that's fine. I'll just make that happen. Um, so, yeah, I've got to go in with the blue now. <clears throat> yeah, the sources are cool. So here's another source. And then the skinks, I went a little lighter on their skin. So they're almost like uh, blue-gray shark-style sources. Um, and so that's why, you know, the theme is to go darker as you go up in size. Um, that's not necessarily true in the animal kingdom, actually. It, if you notice, um, there's some, some species of uh, particularly pachyderms. Their colors may be a little bit more intense as they're juvenile, and then they kind of actually gray out or dull out as they get older. Uh, it's also true in things like um, uh, monitor lizards and that kind of thing. So I'm kind of going the opposite way, but you know, whatever. It looks cool. All right. So for the blue, I go with this uh, intense blue from Vallejo. Um, this is a very, very bright blue. 
So you have to be very careful with it because if you um, if you end up in the wrong spot, uh, it's very hard to cover over. Um, also, I go really thin, so to kind of mitigate that, so it's not it's not that this blue doesn't hide very well the way I apply it, but uh, it'll be screaming blue by the time this model's done, and I will make sure it does. So here we go. Just mixing up a little bit of that blue. Yeah, so the interesting is even when I'm um, not feeling well, whoa, there's crazy like banner ads going on right now. Anyway, uh, let's keep going. Yeah, so even when I'm not feeling well, I'm still painting still makes me feel better than not painting. I don't think my wife quite appreciates that as well as much as I do. Um, when I'm sick, she likes uh, she likes for me to uh, kind of cling to her. She wants to keep me around, but I don't. I especially with our little baby, I find that whole the prospect of that to be very counterproductive. I don't want to get her or the baby sick. Uh, so I've been kind of keeping, quarantining myself uh, to separate rooms, uh, including this painting room. So I don't know. Call, call me out if I'm just make, coming up with an excuse to stay here and paint. But uh, I don't want to get my little guy sick. So I am sticking with that answer. <laughs> All right. So uh, the blue in this scheme is, uh, it's, I won't lie, it's somewhat unimaginative. Um, but I don't, what I don't want is I don't want this model to be too busy. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of models, they will sculpt in things like straps or, uh, or trophies or uh, shredded cloth, um, all over the model and in my opinion sometimes that busies up the model and you know sometimes I just want to enjoy painting a giant freaking lizard I don't need to uh, I don't need to have all this other extraneous stuff going on around him and you'll see as I as I start to paint it all in how much of this model is actually blue padding or blue equipment based on my scheme. Um, I think that's kind of unfortunate because this is a great model. The, if you look at the, the source part of the model, it's really cool. Like why, why do I have to have it buried? In, it's almost like the sculptor was embarrassed of their job uh, with the Crocs. Just just show off the Crocs. Let, this, let them scales pop. Let the fangs pop. Um, you don't have to make this thing look like an actual uh, football piece. So, whatever. That's just me ranting. Yeah. So see how much blue is coming down? And this, I've got the blue coming down so thin that it's really not covering much but that's okay I kind of want it to do that because when I come in with the highlights that's when the the model gets a little more solidified and um, the end result is I've got a nice solid blue down but it's hopefully not blinding your eyes when you look at it alright uh, I'm actually just going to do the whole helmet in blue. <laughs> you can see the blue with the yellow bone, it really does pop quite a bit. And then with the black scale, 
it also e each element kind of sets sets itself apart, which is cool. So at first I wasn't sure about this color scheme. Now I'm really enjoying it. All right, so I'll reload comments here in a second. Hopefully, hopefully you guys are telling me what you're working on or what you're. Uh, you can even tell me what you're what you've been playing lately. If you've been um, doing any miniature gaming, be curious to know what people are playing this type of year. You can also tell me uh, what games your what games or models you're hoping to get uh, for Christmas. Because <laughs> uh, that's another consideration this time of year. Shopping for miniature gamers <laughs> and wish lists. Let's uh, go ahead and reload this. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, Kevin's going to join me in a bit. That's good. I should probably um, throw him an invite. So let me send an invite to... There we go. And submit. Okay. So Kevin will hop on, I guess, when it's uh, convenient for him. And I'm going to keep painting this blue. So let's talk a little bit about... Um, what I was looking for this Christmas. Since my wife doesn't watch the show, I'm at liberty to talk. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of the worst person ever to buy gifts for. And uh, I think some of my friends can attest to that. Especially gifts for miniature stuff. Don't... it. The problem with me is if I like... If I really want something, I just go buy it. <laughs> and even if it's like my birthday right around the corner or it's Christmas or whatever, I don't give the people around me much opportunity to buy me anything. So I'm kind of a shitty person to shop for. Uh, I won't lie about that. Uh, so this year, um, as you guys know, my whole deal is sort of the uh, Anima Tactics Hell Dorado stuff. So I'm really into fleshing out my Anima Tactics Helderado stuff. And uh, truth be told, I have done a little bit of shopping, but I think overall I've been pretty good, uh, pretty wise with my spending. I haven't, uh, at least to my knowledge, I haven't uh, been paying exorbitant prices on uh, the stuff that I'm trying to get. So that's good. Um, but yeah, Hell Dorado Anima Tactics. Um, so we'll start with Anima Tactics. Now I have a, a pretty big collection of Anima Tactics rocking at the moment, um, and uh, my current project within Anima Tactics is uh, I want to make a Wizenshaft a Wizenshaft gears list. So we're talking specifically about those like mech style models. Um, so uh, so yeah, they've those the models the mechs are are expensive though. Um, they're, I think the cheapest one is like 30 bucks, and some of them are all the way up to say 40, 50 dollars for single, uh, single mech models. Um, so it is, is it is expensive uh, party to build, um, but I I find the models to be so cool looking that uh, I just have to I have to to uh, paint those because I love them. Um, so. Got that going for me. Um, also looking forward to uh, painting up a Morgan. Now, lately, uh, Phil put up a Phil Howard put up a picture of his painted Morgan. Um, I guess he did it on both the Cipher fan site and uh, SoCal Tabletop, and I was really, really inspired by that. Um, I just thought he did an incredible job and. Um, I wanted to 
me being such a big fan of that miniature, I wanted to try one for myself. Um, but it was a low priority. And sometimes you find that uh, you can find it on eBay or on special sales like FRP Games or something like that. Um, and I found one on eBay for thirty-five dollars. This is a normally a sixty-dollar miniature, if I recall. Um, so I was like, you know what? Tis the season, whatever. Let's just go for it. Um, and I won't be seeing a price like that for a while. So I, I went for it, and I I, uh, I won the auction, the eBay auction, and I managed to snag a Morgan model for thirty-five dollars. So really excited about that. Um, so on the anima side, I will. I guess the theme is I'm adding all those big base models, the the uh, the more expensive stuff, because uh, I have lots and lots of the uh, smaller parties. So I have lo a lot of church, uh, a lot of church models right now. I have a fair bit of empire models. Um, I have some wizen shaft. Uh, I have. Uh, um, Church Empire Wizard Shaft. I, I have plenty of Wanderers, and um, I was looking to kind of expand Sam a little bit. So Morgan works out there. I I just like all of the factions. I just really love the models for that game. And um, any excuse to continue to paint them, uh, I will gladly do. So uh, the other thing for Anima Tactics is that uh, Special Edition Celia model which is very tough to justify because uh, on eBay they're, they're selling between like $100 and $250 for the model. And it's a cool model. It really is. But, uh, you know, I don't know if it's if that single model is worth that much. Um, but, yeah. So those are some cool uh, Anima Tactics stuff that I'm looking at. Um, for Helderado... Uh, I actually do have uh, the two main forces that I was interested in, um, Immortals and Demons. I do have them both at four, uh, 200 point uh, fieldable with a little bit of wiggle room in there, um, which is great. Uh, but their, their new models for Inferno are, are out and around, and um, there's just a lot of cool stuff. There's a, there's a lot of cool lost stuff that I know Jake is interested in. Um, so... Uh, stuff like uh, Corvus Harriers look really cool to me. Um, basically, uh, the, the lost stuff just looks great. Mercenary stuff looks amazing as well. Um, so, there's just, man. You're going to ask me what I want. It's like, what don't I want <laughs> from from those sets? Um, looking forward to, to uh, painting up more of that collection, but... Uh, El Dorado is kind of right now. It's it's kind of just uh, holding holding on as a side game for people that that don't like Anima Tactics. And um, I I love El Dorado. Uh, it's one of my favorite games, but uh, it's unrealistic at this juncture to try to get people involved in it. So it's just more of a you know it, I'll play it with Jose. I'll play it with uh, some of the I, I guess Gabe. Some of the other some of the other guys that are that have bought into it, but I don't expect new people to be buying into anything like that, at least not for a while. Um, so, yeah. So that's the miniatures. Now, um, in the Kickstarter news, um, I did I did jump in on um, the Frontline uh, mouse pad mats, those gaming mats that they did, because I think they're brilliant. I, I don't know if they're... Uh, if they if they look quite as cool as a Zuzzy mat because a Zuzzy mat has true texture, and um, Zuzzy mat a Zuzzy does allow you to paint it so you can really really match it up with your terrain. Um, so that's where the Zuzzy wins out. But this mat, the uh, the Frontline Gaming mat, the, they just look more durable. Um, they're super clean. They they're uh, they're spill resistant. I love that. Um, they seem like they're they're a little bit better for portability, although I could be wrong there. They might actually rolled up. They're probably a little bit thicker than a Zuzzy mat, but the durability story still wins out. Um, so uh, I, I figured, you know what, I'm going to hop in. I'll, I'll get one and uh, 
that should be enough. I mean, I don't, I don't do large conventions or large shows anymore. I'm not leading teams of uh, volunteers like I, I used to be. So, you know, if I have enough tables, like a couple of tables for myself to run my own little events, then I'm completely content with that. So, Frontline Gaming, I am. I have given the nod to and I am on board with them. Um, in addition to the other uh, Kickstarter stuff that I hopped in on. So, let us see if there are any new comments while this blue is drying. You see how blue? Look at that. Lots and lots of blue on this model. Very vibrant model now. So let's, uh, sorry about all the mouse stuff here. But let's see. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, Shen from our SoCal Tabletop comment, sorry to hear you're not feeling well. Thanks, man. Uh, painting pig burrowers and getting my ass kicked by Crix and Vassal. <laughs> See, that's kind of why uh, I know Jake couldn't make it tonight, but uh, Jake is our um, within our small group. He's the resident ore machine guy, and uh, I won't lie to you guys. I have been resisting this war machine bug ever since but well, wait let me back up for a sec let me back up for a sec because I, I gotta take ownership of this right now okay because the fact of the matter is Jake didn't get us he he played war machine before we met and, and but then quit um, but this latest bout of war machine came about when I decided I wanted to start painting it to sell on eBay. So I bought myself a Scorn uh, Battle Box, Battle Group, or whatever they're called. Painted it up. Um, did enjoy it. In fact, I have a video on painting Scorn uh, that I probably need to narrate and put up. <laughs> I know, I, I have a lot of those. but um, So I painted it, put it up, and then it did not, it did not sell the way I hoped it would sell. So therefore, I was kind of bummed out by it. But I still wanted to paint War Machine. So what I did was I bought a two-player horde starter. And I painted up a two-player horde starter with the thought of, hey, if I paint this up, then Monstor will have a two-player horde starter, and they can run demos with painted miniatures. Well, guess what? Painted it up, offered it to Monstor, and they refused it, which was interesting because Monstor... Um, Monster took me up on a lot of other things, like uh, when I brought terrain down, and um, I, I did some other trades with Monster. So I was kind of shocked by that, that they didn't want, because they're, they're uh, demoing with an unpainted two-player hordes box. So I was like, well, wouldn't you want to just trade for a painted horde box uh, box set? And they were not, they were not interested in that. <laughs> so. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they hated the, maybe they hate my paint style, I, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, so that happened, um, and I still didn't have my itch satisfied. I still wanted to paint more War Machine. So then I uh, decided to trade my Deep War stuff to, uh, to Dan for more, uh, for more War Machine, and I traded... Uh, my Deep Wars starters and my rule book and all that stuff. Traded that to him for some pirates. And uh, at the time, I was playing like small one-off games with my Ret. Um, so, and you know, Jake and and I think Rory or whatever, they were kind of they were kind of joking at me and uh, and Mark because we were the guys playing it. And my brother just kind of jumped in with his uh, with his circle as well. They were they were kind of making fun of us at first, and uh, then what happened was uh, I was like, yeah, you know, this game is this game is kind of fun, but man, it's it it's a lot more expensive to to get something playable in this game uh, than it is in Anima Tactics, and I stand by that statement. I know a lot of people say, no, it costs the same to play every game. Well, to get started, your startup cost, at the very least, 
uh, is higher uh, in War Machine. If you are, you know, if you're looking to get at 15, 20 points, um, as opposed to, you know, putting together uh, 200 levels of Anima Tactics, which is actually a starter, which is not just a starter set, that's actually a playable uh, tournament-sized uh, party for Anima Tactics. But I digress. Anyway, um, I was trying to talk Jake out of it because, um, you know, he had fallen upon some financial hard times, and um, I just didn't think that it was a good idea to get into something that I considered to be so expensive. Um, but yeah, inevitably, you know, Jake got in. Uh, this is like his third or fourth time playing War Machine now. And he didn't just get in. I mean, he dove in. Once he was in, he was in. And he's, he's like the biggest, right now, uh, it's his favorite game, and he's like the biggest fan of uh, War Machine right now. And uh, so he tries to... He, she tries to push it within our small group, and you know he wants to play with uh, a few more people. I don't think he, I don't think he's interested in the big tournament scene or anything like that. So, but yeah, that's where we're at now. And you know, uh, War Machine is kind of one of those games that by this time, it's what ten years since War Machine came out, it's kind of a universally carried game. So, uh, you know, it turns out a lot of guys in our club have some War Machine, myself included, and. Uh, so we're we're playing. I think uh, with varying degrees of commitment to it. Um, I would. I'm probably one of the least committed guys to War Machine right now, um, because I honestly my my real uh, my real favorites right now are Anima Tactics and Hell Dorado. So um, so I'm probably one of the least committed guys to War Machine. Uh, and then you have guys that are are slowly getting more and more into uh, the game. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, you're coming in a little bit low, but... Can... There you go. What's yeah. up, Lane? <laughs> Talking about the War Machine infection. The War Machine bug. <laughs> and how it got started. Oh man, it got us hard. Yep. <laughs> Rory, Rory can directly blame me. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He does directly he does. blame you. I uh, I kind of took uh, ownership of it. Uh, I, I took ownership of my part, which was the initial. Hey, I want to paint this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Let me add. Here we go. All right, another invite's going out right now. So, what are you working on? Uh, working on some uh, some of my signar. Oh no! <laughs> What's the name of your your caster again? Uh, Captain Darius. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, I was watching that game. Uh, on Sunday, and I was super jealous because I know I felt bad. I was like, me "What?" And Jake, me and Jake were rocking our awesome models. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. So you guys were you guys were playing, and um, you were showing off the guy's uh, playstyle, Darius's playstyle, or whatever. Yeah. And and we were comparing it to Ramos, Malfa Ramos. <laughs> And I was like, wait a minute, this guy does a lot of the same stuff that Ramos does, and it's his playstyle is actually, as of today, is actually more like Ramos than M2E Ramos is. And then I got super jealous. <laughs> like, here's, oh, a, here's a test paint of what I have so far. Oh, okay, hold on one sec. Uh, I'm, oh, sweet. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's not, what's the name of that jack? Uh, the iron something, <laughs> ironclad. There we go. Yeah, I'm iron not finalized on the the base color yet. It looks too like troll blood, so I'm gonna probably change it up a little bit. Hmm. So yeah, these uh these lizards, their color is actually because I'd considered playing Sign Signar at one point, 
Yeah. This is how I was going to do them. It's a little <laughs> bit more gold and a, yeah. and a really intense blue. So that's cool. Nice, nice. Yeah, your pirates are kind of painted up Signar too. Yeah, I that was on purpose. I, I wanted them <laughs> to look like the they were trying to fake owning Signar jacks. <laughs> that's kind of what I was going for there. That's cool. Yep, so uh, let's see. Sean says, yet another comment here. Hold on one sec. I'm going to move this over here. Nope, I'll be right back. i got to wash off some brushes. Okay. So he says, uh, War Mahorts is definitely more expensive than most skirmish games, especially at 35 points or higher. It's a hell of a lot of fun, though. You can't put a price on throwing an octopus. <laughs> yeah, good point. Um, but, yeah, it is... It is the word I use is it's a, it's a bit cost prohibitive, and that's what scares me personally. My birth control ever failed on the way to the What the crap? Uh oh. Yep. How weird. That needs to not happen. Alright, back. Whoa. Did I just hear you get a, a Plan B commercial? <laughs> yeah, would you, would you commercial? Well, it's the because I have to have. Um, there it goes again. Oh my god. Oh no. How do I close that? Ah uh, man. All right. I'm gonna reload the page and hopefully it will go. Away. <laughs> Okay, let's go to add options and is there some is there an option to never show me that again? It's cuz my I think my uh my Norton 360 is doing weird stuff ever since uh Windows 8.1. Oh man. Mm. So I got to stop that. There we go. Okay, no new comments. Uh, Rory has sent you an invite if you wanted to hop on. He's not feeling well either. Is he? Yeah. Crap. Somebody got us sick? <laughs> I guess. Anything I can think of. Sweet. So yeah, you guys, you guys like got the bug bad for War Machine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my my, I told you guys like my willpower, like I couldn't resist it anymore once I saw my my Warcaster that everybody was telling me about. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went on like extra sale through the War Store, and I was like, all right, I guess it's going, I guess it's going down. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, as long as as long as we have our uh, our blood bowl season and we all we can all play War Machine, it's fine. Uh, and we still have we still have the the one off like the the smaller games that we can play too. Yep. Yep. Yeah, like um, Anima or Hell Dorado. Those are. They're still in the, the rotation, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe picking up the Saracens later when I have more money. <laughs> yeah. They're, I found them on eBay. They're like 18 bucks on eBay. But Ooh. see, that's kind of regular, I think. I think you can regularly find them for super cheap. So it's oh, no wow. rush. Yeah, okay. What's up, Rory? Can you guys hear me? Yep, yep. Yep. <coughs> you can hear that, too. Hey, Rory's also sick. So, um, question about that glue for basing. Um, uh -huh. Someone decided to help me, and I have fancy wood glue now. <laughs> instead of Elmer's glue. Uh-oh. Well, no, I... If I wasn't sick, I would just go buy Elmer's glue. 
<laughs> it was more like, can I thin that out and use it, or is that a terrible idea? Oh yeah, you can you can thin out wood glue. It's basically the same stuff. Um, wood glue is, uh, I believe, it's a little bit more flexible than school glue is, but it's fine. Should work out okay. How are you liking your Crocs? So far, I'm pretty excited. They're very, very blue. Yeah, I noticed that. Um, That's not a complaint, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> when did you manage to get those from Billy? Uh, was it last week? Yeah, I think it was last week. I ran into him. And I should get him. And I didn't even have to go to his work. Because we would have never found it. That just would have never happened. Well, yeah, there... I guess I had... Um, I had different expectations of Willy Miniatures. They're good minis. Um, actually, they're Mako. They're not Willy. Oh, they're Mako. Okay. Yeah. They still have never painted a Willy miniature. Yeah, I really like the Willy miniatures. Uh, my mummies are mi Willy. Okay. Those are yeah. They're they're good. These are pretty cool too. I just wish they had less equipment. My main complaint. <laughs> a little more lizard, a little less equipment would have been nice. Uh, actually, one of those, uh, the two human models you have, one of them is from Willy, I think. Yeah, there's one that's like basically stark naked. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, is the model actually topless or just almost topless? No, she's actually topless. Let me break it out. No, I know. I, I know what it is. I you anyway if you wanted me to paint those or not. No, I'm just trying to figure out how Billy got two of the three, <laughs> and managed to get the one that I didn't care about. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can make these out, but let's see. Okay, so this is the one that's like actually topless. She's got. She's holding the football right here, and then her. Sh she really. I don't know if that's a shirt or it's just a strap. It's just a strap with the shoulder pad. And she's kind of short. She's shorter than the other girl. And the other girl is that star player, I think. They're cool models, though. I think Starting this is a Willy one. miniature. What's that? Is that for an Amazon team, Roy? You getting an Amazon team, too? Uh, not right now. Um, if chat works, the link I put up is the one Billy didn't order, and that one is actually from Willie. Oh. Okay. okay. Cool. She's very... Uh, any more comments here? So you might hear me for a second. Okay. Uh-oh. It's that stupid. Yeah, what's up with Windows 8.1 deciding to shut down many things on my computer? All right, breaking news. Eric will not be in the Blood Bowl League. You heard it here first. Oh. Who? Um, Eric? Oh, that's a bummer.
Derek was like super big into Blood Bowl when we were uh, when we were in off season. We we're trying to get him ready for uh, this season. That's kind of a bummer. Chickened out, I guess. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> if you uh, if you happen to run into Paul at some point, give him that rat for me. Sure. sure. I'm uh, hoping he will be there Sunday, so we can just get the rat. But yeah, do you want me to paint the Amazons or no? Um, I don't really have a use for them currently. Okay. And if you're just are fun, looking though. for something to paint because you want to paint them, you're more than welcome to, but I don't... <laughs> I'm not even entirely that, sure why I bought I, them. That answer is yes to me, then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a strong yes. <laughs> Very well. Well played. <laughs> they look fun. They look like, it's like, oh, I'm painting full boob. Like like anima but actual boob. Get the full boob. Offend more people on SoCal table. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Offend more people. Alright. And I am gonna try something a little crazy with this thing. How much of my background rustling is the mic picking up? Like none. I, I hear a slight echo from when I say stuff, but I don't think that's you. I think that's either me or Kevin. Yeah, last time I was on, it was from me, like, heavily. So, I don't know. I have a headset on, though. All right. Let me just... Yeah, I checked all my blues. I don't have that one you wanted the other day. Okay. Yeah, I've been toying around with a lot of, like, Signar base coat colors how I want it. I was like, um, the game color Imperial Blue, but it's going to be a bit too purple for your Signar stuff. Oh, that's, that's fine, dude. I want them to kind of be a purple tint. Well, I mean, if you want, you're welcome to grab all my blues and mess around with them. Imperial blue, you said? Hmm. Yeah, it's from the game color. And I've got light, light turquoise, intense blue, Andrea blue, and deep sky blue. Yeah, I was I was genuinely surprised you didn't have the blue I asked for. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have, like, every blue possible. You have oh. ten paints, and nine of them are blue. <laughs> I'm, I thought you do, you don't do painting, so I was like, I'm actually surprised you have paint. <laughs> I I have painted things poorly in the past. I just don't enjoy it. <laughs> and was also not good at it. I think I have like 15 brushes still, too, for some reason. Whoa! <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> You have any Kalinsky brushes? I don't think so. I don't have anything that nice. I was gonna say, this work out ideal. You got all them brushes. Alright. Yeah, I have nine for some reason. <laughs> Did you get your, um, Crick's, uh, what you call it? Primered up? Not yet. I'm waiting to magnetize the arms and stuff. Nice, nice. Trying to resist spending more money on them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's. I mean, this is this can be done like this, and I'll just paint the base, or I could try something weird. Tell me more. I could, with the way this gray is, I kind of wanted it, I was saying that I wanted it to look like a a D and d black dragon. I don't know if you guys... Yep, yep. Seen. Well, in D&D, &D, the black dragons, 
they tend to have either blue or purple highlights. And it's very, very subtle. But most of the model, the body of the model looks black. But then when you get to the, you know, where the, the highlighting is, it looks either blue or purple. And so what I was thinking was I could, just as a test, I could actually um, uh, overbrush some of this purple wash, and it will give the it will give the model uh, on the scales it'll give it a purplish tinge, but it will also help it to look black. Okay. I'm going to try it in an inconspicuous area that I can easily redo. <laughs> yeah, Roy. This is what I have so far on my ironclad. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, it's a very blurry blue jack. Yeah, it's bluish green. Um, kind of looks too troll bloody, so I'm gonna tamper around with the colors a bit more. <laughs> yeah, Sean says that you can never have something look too troll bloody. <laughs> have uh, Have you heard what that uh, Croxagor's name is gonna be? No. <laughs> The Salazar. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting effect. That's his punishment for like holding a hostage accidentally for three months. The Salazar. He You'll consider that a reward. I well, yeah, but that just means you can do any weird things you want to it because you're effectively doing them to Billy. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I think I may go with a purple tinge on it because it's too much blue if I go with... I was going to do a blue ink over the whole thing, but then you have nine colors of blue, so <laughs> why do you need it on this miniature? Well, I kind of have a history of painting everything blue. <laughs> yeah, he loves the blue. <laughs> Are you opposed to having a purple tinge on this? Not at all. That okay. um, that I... wash is actually my favorite color from Dawn of War 2. Because <laughs> it looks like it's going to work. It looks like it would work. Well... Only one way to find out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeehaw. Count. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's the stuff. It's good like times. It's gonna you, make look you make painting dirty, Octave. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of like uh, a But I figure the, this particular race of lizards gets darker as they get bigger. So a little bit of purple in there. And then it's called for. That's dope. Yeah, purple. Were you intimidated by my new Warhammer army? Yes. <laughs> that does look scary. Like looking at that like, oh shit. We're going to paint that? Hell yeah, we're going to paint that. I like how it's fear and intrigue. We're going to paint it. Hell yeah. <laughs> I did also have a somewhat ridiculous idea of trying to build a... Since I have modular plates now, like a kind of a scenic base for them all. Whoa! Damn, Roy, you crazy? I've always been crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, this is good, man. Yeah. So at the um, the Games Day tournament or Game Day tournament, uh, but 
IG, you guys call him? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> he introduced me to my opponent. He's like, no, he's, he's cool. He's cool. He smiles a lot and he laughs a lot. So. <laughs> Whoa. I was like, all right, okay. <laughs> he was super sad that we couldn't make it. Yeah. He was asking me about you guys. Because I was like, oh, I can't make it. And then people were like, well, we'll do Sunday then. <laughs> that wasn't the point. Okay. It's all good. You still got, you still got some shiny new anima. Yep. At discount prices. For that. Appreciate it, guys. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff just sitting around to paint, and it's all fun. Crazy. Until those zombies show. <laughs> Until those zombies show. Well, yeah, but I, I think what we can do is, like, we can do a paint day where we just knock out a shit ton of zombies all at the same time. Yeah, I'm down for a paint day. Paint day. I think you'll like painting the zombies. Because it's not... Not actually... There's not much painting happening. Yeah, I just expect to wash a whole lot of green and brown on everything. My wife got me these uh, brushes, which would be completely perfect for it, but I have to wait till Christmas. I just found them in my secret for Christmas pile. Oh, nice, nice. I'm like, oh, those are perfect for painting 900 zombies at the same time. <laughs> I'm basically talking about a makeup brush. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, because you can use a makeup brush for, like, one of the best dry brushes you can get is a makeup brush. Yeah, that's like, that's... That sounds good. That sounds it works really well. That makes sense. Alright. Now, just about done. I have to paint the boots. Let me see if there's any more comments. Yeah, the bases were actually really nice. I actually didn't notice them until Kevin pointed them out. I was like, whoa. Yeah, those bases look amazing. I hope they stay together. They're, uh, <laughs> they're a little rigid. I'm a little worried about it, but I'll seal them up. They should be okay. Mm -hmm. um, did you get the message that the, uh, the base pads came? Yeah. Well, I can have a look at them. I... It's kind of, uh, for mass production, I don't know how good those things would be. Because you, you're supposed to use green stuff with them, right? Uh, that's what they say. In theory, any kind of putty would work, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jake says, Ruining Kevin on the show, damn it, I'm missing good times. That's funny. <laughs> He's missing, like, the most casual show ever. <laughs> Yes. Well, we're supposed to have, uh, in like the next week or two, we're supposed to do an actual show, our kind of year in review show. Oh, nice. Where we pick our the fa our favorite games that we played this past year. How much apologizing is there? <laughs> Where we just say, yeah, this is my favorite game, and then the other people say, boo. <laughs> yep. But these bases are easy. It's just, um, I just use my, um, my regular gravel mix and school glue. And then you just paint them a few different colors. So, just slosh some brown around on them. Then I go back in with a few other colors. And then you put the little, uh, um, one of those, the tufts on it. Uh, 
I'm going to have to repaint my high elves. They are not up to snuff. You poor thing. They're not wearing the pink pantalones? Yeah, they're just not... They have actual metallics on them, and that bothers me. Um, speaking of them, do you want to, uh... Retire the distraught lions? Um... Or never mind, they're human, they're not elf. Yeah. Never mind. That is crazy. I could, I mean, I don't have an... But, uh... Yeah. I uh, well, I mean, there's there's no need. I thought you were replacing them with another elf team, but they're not elves. It's Jake that had elves. Yeah, so... What's your... Uh, hey, Kevin, what's the team value of Lost Angeles? Um... I don't... I think it's like 100k less than Roy's team. Oh, shit. <laughs> Really? Yeah, I think Roy's team is the most expensive in the league yeah. now. I'm at 1510. Damn. 1450. Dude, my vampires just win at like team building, and they can't win a game to save their lives. <laughs> Where are the pack orcs? Yeah, the pack orcs are only at thirteen sixty. Yeah, I need. I think I need you to deduct money from my treasury. Um, it wouldn't let me put negative numbers in the earnings last season for spending on uh, the wizard and uh, yeah, just the wizard for the final game. Harry Potter, who I never used. Harry Potter. <laughs> yes. That sounds exactly like Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I think you do that on, uh, let me just see. There's a little admin menu under the team. If you have admin rights, you can do it. Yeah, no, I can do that. I just wanted to see. Oh, I'm doing crazy wet blending. Look at oh, this. Oh, shit. <laughs> Otherwise, just too lazy to let it dry. <laughs> You can just call it wet blending and be like, oh, I'm so pro. It's the new hotness, man. Wet blending. Wet blending. Look at all this wet blending, Jake. <laughs> Do so many. Okay. Um. Well, just let me know what the amount is. I can do that because I have it up right now. Uh, should be uh, take off 80K because I guess we determined that I could use some inducement money to pay for it as well and then mix it in with some of my own money so it should be minus 80k okay I'm done and you're still sitting at 100k yeah whoa <laughs> so if you spent that you could actually have a higher team value than me <laughs> now here's an interesting question if you carry your team over into the next season and you want to buy a reroll, is it still double, or do they revert back to their original price? That's a good question. Um, well, according to the, the web page, it's going to be double, because okay. it doesn't make a distinction like that. Yeah, because then that's a super loophole. If you, you'd be like, oh, I'm just going to have the worst season ever and then come back with eight rerolls next season. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know. Eight rerolls is extremely excessive unless you're Rory, apparently. Rory <laughs> uses every one of his rerolls. I know, he does. I don't need <laughs> that many rerolls. He needs every reroll. <laughs> My new high elf team has four rerolls. I'm like, fuck! I don't think I've ever used four rerolls on a high elf team. <laughs> but yeah, like every check for a freaking high elves is two plus whatever yeah. you're doing. <laughs> Everything is two plus for elves. Stinking elves! <laughs> I will be rolling many ones this season. <laughs> 
Yeah, so me and uh, me and Jose have elves this season. Jose, yeah. Jose will have uh, dark elves, which build similar to high elves. Yeah. Until we get to about mid-season, then our teams will start to feel a lot different. His is a lot more bashy. Yeah. And Paul's playing in the goblins, man. Oh. Yeah, that's scary. That is both scary and amazing because people playing him could rack, potentially rack up casualty points like crazy. <coughs> yes. I think that's the only game I won was against the goblins. <laughs> <laughs> and with like three goblins on the field, he's still almost tied it up. <laughs> <laughs> Slippery bastards. Oh, look at this, my crazy wet blending skills. Oh my god. I think it was. I think it was after that match. Roy was like, "All right, that's bull crap. I'm taking tackle on like half my guys now." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My new thing is every thrall gets block and tackle. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Solid man. Sweet. All right. Then I got to paint some bullshit line just to make it look like he's on a field. And I feel bad. Maybe the sources should have a purple tinge too. Nah. We'll see. <laughs> oh, it's up to you. This is a super cool model, though. I'm glad yeah, that was the model that made me look at the rest of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Crocs in that set looks awesome. Then I have to paint Los Pantalones, but I don't even get to reprime them because if I try to remove them from those grassy bases, they'll snap the feet off. I also built that team really dumb. There's only seven linemen. I only made seven linemen, and I'm like, oh, that's really dumb. But it's whatever. Well, you know you can redo anything up until the start, right? Yeah, but then I would have to order that. That was a custom built team. I'd have to oh. order Phoenix Guard heads, White Lion legs, Phoenix Guard cloaks. There's Spearman arms. There was a lot of like pieces that go into that. Holy uh, cow. Okay. Why am I doing that? That's wrong. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's fine. They're just, they're going to hit, the downside is they'll hit team bloat super quick. Because nobody ever needs two high elf throwers. <laughs> the dumbest thing you could have. I don't know, two dark elf assassins, they sound amazing, but man. But that's, that's pretty dumb. Oh, that's really dumb. Mm-hmm. That's my advice for you, Jose, if you're listening, man. <laughs> Don't load up on assassins. They sound amazing, but they really are crappy. All right. Yeah. So this new color. I think this new color works out. So Look at that. He's stepping out of bounds and everything. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Probably pushing somebody else out of bounds. <laughs> he plays by his own rules. You never know with the Salazar. <laughs> that is very true. I didn't think about that. Oh, Salazar, God. he plays how he wants to play. You don't give him orders. He plays like that stupid goblin. 
<laughs> he moves forward. He smashes you. No. <laughs> why, Billy? Why? Yeah, so the plan for my Signar is try to get them to look like the color scheme to kind of look like storm clouds. And I think I just found what I'm looking for. That's cool. I want to play against your fat Ramos, man. <laughs> so cool. I was like, wow. I was mad at myself because I was like, wow, I like War Machine now more. It's not supposed to. I'm supposed to be on the downward spiral of anger <laughs> at War Machine. Yeah, I was really feeling bad look, watching you look at me and Jake's balls. I was like, was oh, like, man. <laughs> like, oh, man. <laughs> That's cool. No, it's, 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 I'm glad we do have more games that everybody wants to pick up and play, so it's good. Yeah. And a lot of people already had stuff, so it's not – my fear of us all running out of money because we're all playing this one game is uh, – <laughs> Good point. Not yeah, that that's my business that we run out of money, but you know. <laughs> well, like with your game, does Lara ADHD? Like, I'm surprised we haven't. <laughs> yeah. I was even when I started painting. I'm like, oh, this is totally safe for me to paint in front of you guys because no one's gonna have the money or the patience to just pick it up. Like, yeah, I just want this to paint. <laughs> On a positive note, being in the live chat with you, I've gone through all my old mail for like the past three months. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, and one last step. This dude is done. Oh, is that the uh, army painter plant things? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow, really? Those are expensive. <laughs> Dang. They're, they're like six bucks, I think, for a sheet of it. How many models does that really work for for a sheet? Uh, it's quite a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, you know, it depends on how many you put on per model, but I use them on a lot of my models, so. Yeah, they look really nice. I'm going to put the Los Pantalones Fantasticos in some flowers. <laughs> their their blood bowl Red. field is like got flowers on it. Random football. This pitch has flowers. <laughs> They're so gonna page cinco you <laughs> on their football field with flowers. <laughs> Bart Cinco. <laughs> That should not have been as funny as it was. <laughs> yeah, Blood Bowl's going to be fun. I'm looking forward. I'm, well, what, uh, what team what? is Marty playing? Do we know? Marty has the, Wash the Washington Dead Skins. Oh, Necro or Undead? Undead team. Two uh, undead four, teams are strong. Two skellies, three zombies. Four revolves and a necromancer. But he didn't take a... Uh, he's taking old school undead. He's not taking uh, necromantic with the werewolf. Yeah. The werewolf is disgustingly good. Unless Roy one-shots it in his very yeah. first game. <laughs> like the very first thing, he just one-shots a werewolf. Oh, that's the same. 
That's that's like killing a war dancer, but it's harder to kill a werewolf. <laughs> basically ended any thought I might have had to bringing them to the playoffs. <laughs> like, oh, never mind. <laughs> now, one thing I don't like about these GW-style bases is when you paint the edges, they chip like mad. Because you've got it you're using them on FunTac and you pull them off the little stands and just chip. We have a very quiet four viewers. <laughs> I think they're painting too. I don't know. They need to join us then. We have very quiet four viewers. Sometimes we have, like, nine viewers, and nobody says anything except for, like, uh, what's his name, Troy Perez. Or Viv will come by for, like, a second. Hi, Mike. And then leave. Hope you're all doing well. <laughs> He's got his kid now, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, he hasn't had any videos out in a long time now. And he's super into brewing beer now. Yeah. <laughs> so all we ever talk about now is Viv and I just talk about, like, amazing dumps our kids take. <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> My kid shat all the way up his back. It was amazing. <laughs> Those are our discussions now. Um, and not to interrupt this important topic. <laughs> With the uh, GW bases, with the edge chipping you were talking about, um, yeah. the link I just put in group chat, I'm going to be ordering some of those. Oh, skill ranks, okay. Yeah. That's cool. So that's why I was asking if anybody wanted anything from Impact, because I'm going to get those uh, koala dice and skill rings. Whoa. Did you say koala dice? I said koala yep. dice. What the hell? That's a thing. Yeah, when when Rory was working out the color scheme, what color scheme I'd do these guys, he, we had to match him up with koala dice. Oh, man. That's why they are blue. <laughs> I put uh, the third link I put in chat is to koala dice. That might be better than moose dye. Oh, man. Well, the, the problem is the koalas are the skulls. Oh, Australia's are the POWs. <laughs> Australia's are the POWs. And eucalyptus are pushes. Holy cow, okay. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> That's kind of really awesome. You have the most Aussie team ever, apparently. Wow. Nah, well, the dice... So you've never seen the Outback team have then, have you? No. It's like random animals and shit. It's like a platypus and like. <laughs> yes. I kind of want that now. <laughs> what is this team you're talking about? <laughs> you can't get it anymore. Like it was Damn probably it. a limited fundraiser thing. Let me see if I can find any of them. <laughs> You should show those uh, skill rings to Gabe and see if he can come up with something, too. He tried, he did something, I think, similar with uh, um, when he was doing the little wounds, like wound rings. I love those things. Health tracker things. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Oh, your team is ready, Rory. You just have to seal it now. Look at that. Nice, nice. <laughs> now, as long as we're we're both well enough to go Sunday, 
can bring you your Blood Bowl team. <laughs> And I finished a Lemure. What? Crazy. Another one? How many do you have? <laughs> I have I have at least ten Lemures now. What? They all have different stats and everything? Yeah. Wow. Well, this guy's a double. I have two of these. That's why he's <laughs> kind of sitting around. But I like having another miniature around, so I'm painting something while, some, while the other coats are drying. Right, right. <laughs> Nine Lemures, holy cow. So that probably little, little Asian guy with the fangs, that's amazing. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> I got to do the um the damned one of gluttony on Sunday. Yes. That thing is gross, man. <laughs> and it actually got to eat something, right? It ate two dudes. What? But it vomited up the second guy because he finally killed it. <laughs> Dang. But yeah, it's that thing goes to like defense six when it is obese form. What? Because it's so fat, you're trying to puncture <laughs> it. Hurt it. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. He goes down to like movement two or something in defense <laughs> six. Yeah, I guess demons aren't really known for their mobility. <laughs> yeah, all the demon stuff is pretty pretty slow. Yeah. Jackie Chan fodder. <laughs> Jackie Chan is the coolest thing in that game. <laughs> I was so mad. Oh my god. I finally you finally figured out what those sloth guys are good for. And then you just kicked them out of the game. Oh crap. I wanted to do it to the other one so badly, but I was tied up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They're not uh, purely Blood Bowl miniatures, but I found two of them and put links up to them. What's this? It's the uh, koala from when they made those dice and the platypus. Oh. There's koala. What? That guy has dynamite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Out of stock. Oh, Oops. Impact makes a... Um, they make an Asian Blood Bowl team, too, with sumo guys yeah. and ninjas and samurais. I think it's called, like, Divine Wind or something like that. Yeah. Every year I look at that and, like, is this the year I'm going to buy that <laughs> and play it? But I never... Unfortunately, I never get around to it. Because I'm bored, I'm going to paint in the eyes for these two chicks. <laughs> Why not? So, were you going to get into Dead Zone often? Um, well, between Rory and Jake, everybody owns so much of it. Yeah. That I can just, I can just play other people's stuff and decide. Yeah, because I have literally one of everything coming. Yeah, you, Rory does not simply back a Kickstarter. <laughs> That's the rule. <laughs> I'm I'm getting a little bit better, I think. I I don't remember the last time. No, that's not true. I backed that zip belt, but that's not a gaming thing. That was totally worth it. <laughs> One does not just back a Kickstarter. How come this chick looks drunk in the face? What the hell? The miscast? She looks drunk in the face. Uh-oh. 
The second model, the it starts with an H. I forget who it's by. Oh man. I mean, any more comments from our viewers who might be painting? Probably painting. Yep, no new comments. That Sean just wanted to talk about troll bloods and then broke out. <laughs> He's like, you could never have enough troll blood and then just left. <laughs> Yeah, and oh man, the more I keep looking at your Crocs, the more I'm super happy with that little purple on it. <laughs> You're welcome to do it on more of them if you want, or you can make Billy special. No, Billy's special. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Il Salazar. One of the things you're going to have to do is figure out how you, you're going to number these. If you don't paint them on the shoulders, you might just do what I do and put them on the... Take a Sharpie and do them on the base. Yeah, I was looking at doing that with the skill rings, or possibly a... I don't know how to describe it, but see if Gabe can make like a base extension. Like, like you, like this, the same you height put the model on top of it. And it follows the same angle of slope, so it's twice as high and gives you actually enough room to write. Like if you did like that, if that fit on there? Yeah, like that. But um, in but my flat. mind, it would just follow the slant of the GW slot of base. Yeah. You want but, to turn your Blood Bowl team into hero clicks? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> no, but that's not the worst idea I've ever heard. <laughs> Offensive model. <laughs> She's naked. <laughs> I'd actually planned on just ghetto green stuffing, like a simple little shirt or something on her. But with how excited you are about being offensive, it's too funny. If you don't, if you don't like it, what I could do is I can paint it like a super skin tight shirt. I can make it like a wet T-shirt she's got on. <laughs> That's almost more offensive. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I can do, I can paint, I can paint her with a shirt if you want. Well, like I said, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with those minis. I think my original thought was I was gonna replace some of the thralls with nicer models to show, like, so I actually knew who had what skills. But then I was oh like, yeah, yeah. They don't match at all. The thralls actually don't look bad, so. And the Gaspes models are a bit taller than these. Yeah, they're tall. It's kind of sad when I found that out. It's like, wow, these things are tall. What's up, buddy? Sorry, my cat. Yeah. What do you want? What are you doing? No. Oh. Mad about something, I don't know. I just <laughs> did on a painted Crick starter box for $5. Let's see if I win it. Holy crap, Roy. <laughs> it's five dollars. I'm certain someone will bid against me. Are you looking at eBay stuff? Yeah. 
And if I don't, then I just got four more jacks for five bucks. Yeah. Just bonus. Throw, throw a bit at it. That's how I ended up with all this anima shit. Because you can actually win those auctions. It's like two dollars. I bid two oh five, and then you win. Yes. Oh, come on. Damn it. Sometimes. What's Paul been up to? He's been really quiet lately. He was sick last week. Yeah. This is the worst because I got a flu shot and everything. I was like, oh, this is gets to be the one year where I don't get the flu. <laughs> yeah. Like, super mad. Stayed home. Don't get to hold my kid. I'm like, oh, shit. You know how, like, when you're home sick from work, you're home sick, which sucks, but then you kind of, you're kind of happy about being able to do certain shit. Well, yeah. yeah. You can't hang out with your kid. That sucks. Might as well just go to work. <laughs> Damn, I cannot get this chick's eye to dot. Come on. There we go. Dot the drunk chick's eyes. <laughs> drunk. So just so you guys know, there's a bunch of toy machine going on this weekend. Huh? Go to CQ. Play toy machine. What's toy machine? It's a war machine tournament where... If you donate toys for Toys for Tots or whatever, you get extra re-rolls and <laughs> other things. <laughs> nice, nice. I uh, don't think I'll be heading down there. See if anybody else is going to toy machine. Anybody else going to toy machine? Oh, Sean is still here. Just had to finish some writing contracts before I got back. To okay, cool. Well, Sean, I think you'll be happy that um, I think I will stick with the troll bloody looking color scheme. <laughs> it's troll blood signar. Troll blood looking signar. Trollnar. <laughs> Troll Are you also a cat lover? You can be signarian <laughs> cat lover. I can't take the throne. I can't take the throne on that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever find out if that dude was okay? Yeah, he messaged me back. Oh, nice. He's okay, I... but he didn't. He hasn't put up a bat rep in a while. Yeah. I kind of just want to like fly over there, kick his door in, and challenge him to a game. <laughs> I'll show you who loves cats. 
<laughs> He's waiting for plan for the title. <laughs> we need to get some some uh, some of that like renegade red horse beer over there while you're there. <laughs> Red Horse Beer. Alright, what time is it? Oh, man. It is late. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get my high elf stuff. Okay. I've been testing out different color schemes, and this freaking this Lancer model has gone through so many different colors. <laughs> like I just keep painting white over it and redoing. You gotta move it less. Like you're shaking so okay. much, the camera doesn't focus. Oh, stupid laptop. Whatever that was was cool. What kind of jack is that? What kind of uh, jack is that? The Lancer. Okay. He he's been my test model for a lot of colors. <laughs> I keep I keep painting white over it. Like, all right, let's try this now. <laughs> the Squire is the coolest looking. Mobile toolkit, man. Yeah. This is that's yeah. what I call him. That thing is awesome. Stupid Signar making me like their things. <laughs> I wanted yeah, to play Signar for the longest time back in the day. <laughs> How dare they actually have good things? <laughs> Set up all these here. Yeah, in the, in the tournament, the two Crix guys that were first and second place, they were nothing but infantry. I was just like, wow. They hate fun so much. <laughs> War machine minus the machines. I know. That's one of the reasons why I play Fiona and I play Rhett specifically, because people keep telling me, oh, they're only really good with units. You don't want to take jacks. So I take lots of jacks. <laughs> oh, I'm going to cheat this cool photo of your whole team. That's kind of awesome. The only problem is there's one of the skinks came with two right hands. Oh, It's kind of hard to tell, but... If you're staring at them, you'll see that one of them has two right hands. Oh, look at that. Crazy. That's a cool-looking Blood Bowl team. <laughs> and they're kind of Signarian. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're Signarian Lizard Lover. <laughs> Okay, so here's a lineman for my Los Pantalones Fantasticos. It's odd that they don't actually have pants. But they look okay. They look three foot rule, they look pretty good. But they it just it's such an old painting style. I have I painted these maybe three or four years ago. And well maybe I'll just touch up the flesh. I mean, that's, maybe I just leave them and then put glue some extra flowers at their feet or something. They look okay. Yeah, something looking it. okay has never stopped you from painting it over again. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So here's the the thrower, and this head is from the um, the Warhammer Fantasy Island of Blood, the Griffin guy. I guess. Oh, gotcha. Guy. Yeah. Um, but you can't buy that bit. So what I did was I had one. I had that set on me. So I did um, uh, what's it called? Instant mold, and I made that. Oh dang. It looks pretty good. Nice. So I made two of them. This one didn't come out quite as nice as the other one, but it still looks, you know, still looks pretty good. Three foot rule mm -hmm. again. Maybe I won't repaint these. I don't care. Just I'll just put flowers on them. <laughs> all of the day. They're a cool looking team. There's no pink. Or what? There's no pink. Isn't that part of the name? No. They're just Spanish for the fancy pants. Oh. Because <laughs> they're high elves, so. Pantalones fantásticos. <laughs> That guy is kind of awesome. I should... Ah, oh man. I can't decide if I'm going to repaint them or not. Because <laughs> if I don't repaint them, I could be working on more anima stuff. I could start painting up those gears. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't have that third one you wanted. Yeah, the third one... The, that third one just came out, so I'm pretty sure they oh. would have it. Whoa, this guy's all messed up. Whoa. But yeah, I guess I could just give them a little bit of a touch-up job. I don't really have to redo them entirely. Oh, and i got to try this out, too. I picked up some liquid masking. Whoa. How's that stuff work? Um, for when you airbrush, you paint that on, and it just it kind of just seals off the area, and then you can peel it off. That's amazing. So I can do my, my elite airbrushing skills <laughs> on the gears. All right. Yeah, Roy, I think I'm going to hop up there later on, get Imperial Blue from you to check it out. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. It's supposed to be like the Imperial Fist color, right, for 40K? That darker blue, purplish... Uh, I don't think so. It's a lot. It's dark. Hmm. Yeah, this is a big problem I have recently, Octave. With whatever I paint, I'm just not satisfied. <laughs> just like, damn it! <laughs> that's most people. <laughs> I think that's, that's people. That's what... Yeah, I think that's what stops a lot of people from painting more. <laughs> they get unhappy with their job, and then they just... My theory, anyway. Oh, come on. Stay on. Well, no, he ain't staying on. I'm going to have to... Oh, shit. I have the super glue. Sweet. I 
Okay, we should keep it together now. All right, well, it is 11 o'clock, guys, so I am going to try to get some sleep with the hopes of going to work tomorrow. Yep, yep. Um, I'm going to put this off air, but then if you guys want to stay on, you guys, are, you guys can just stay on. Nah, that's fine. Yeah, we can just hop back on vent. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm going to reload comments one more time. Let's see if there's any other, like, question or anything. Come on. Uh, Troll Mar. <laughs> okay. All right, well, that's it for me. I'm going to sign off. Thanks, guys, for joining. Yep, yep. Get better, man. <laughs> yeah. Hope you feel and uh, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys Sunday. Yep. Take it easy. Take it easy.